If your plants and garden are suffering with poor sandy soil, it may not be your fault, but there is something you can do about it. Let's take a look. Natural watery bentonite clay improves the poorly structured soils typical of the coastal plain, reducing water and fertilizer use, while providing long-term benefits for your plants, garden, and the environment. I always use watery bentonite clay when landscaping and planting due to its superior water and nutrient holding capacity. Plus, it's easy to use. You can use around three to five kilograms per square meter. So that it means that one bag is gonna do anywhere from three, four, or even eight square meters. To increase the wettability and water holding capacity of hard to wet soils, and to allow for the deeper penetration of the water into the root zone, a one-off application of watery bentonite is the answer. The bentonite clay permanently improves the soil structure by coating the sand grains attracting humus, organic matter and silt to form aggregates that increase water and nutrient holding capacity. For smaller areas it's quite easy to dig it in with a spade. Wuthery bentonite clay is rich in calcium and magnesium, producing rapid and long-lasting results in poor sandy soils, even more so when combined with the addition of organic matter and compost. For larger areas, you might need a bit of extra muscle. You only need to apply 3 kilograms compared to over 10 kilograms plus of kaolin-type clays. Even use bentonite for raised garden beds like this. Bentonite clay is perfect for adding to these raised garden beds. In raised beds or established gardens, you can add a large handful of bentonite clay into the bottom of each hole and mix it in some good quality soil conditioner. If you want to look after the environment and save money on water and fertilizer, then apply watery bentonite to your whole garden. Your plants will thank you for it. For more information, go to stratagreen.com.au.